Denver 7 is a proud sponsor of the Colorado Latino Hall of Fame, honoring the stories of Latino leadership here in our state. And one of those leaders is a Colorado native named Christine Arguello. Denver 7's Ann Trujillo shares her story. My name is Christine Arguello. I'm a Colorado native. The daughter of a railroad worker father and a stay-at-home mother, U.S. District Judge Christine Arguello was born in Thatcher, now a ghost town in southern Colorado. I remember when we moved to Pueblo because he was just getting um, unemployment while he was going to, to barber school. It was probably the poorest year of our life that I recall. Poor, yet committed to making sure their kids had opportunities they didn't. I went to Catholic school, and I don't know how they paid the tuition, but they were really very strong Catholics. They raised the money to, to send us all to Catholic schools. Nuns and teachers would also become her role models, cementing a foundation for success and memorable moments she'll never forget. When the nuns stood behind you, the ruler was coming out, and I thought she was going to hit me for something, and she leaned over and she looked at what I was doing, and then she whispered in my ear and said, why, aren't you ambitious? And I didn't know what ambitious meant, but I could tell from the tone of her voice that it was something positive. So when we got an excuse for recess, I went to the dictionary to look up ambitious. And it said, having a desire to succeed. And I said, okay, I'm going to be ambitious. Arguello's ambitious attitude in high school and love for winning arguments triggered a light bulb to go off in her head and a dream of going to Harvard that almost didn't shine when she shared her goals in front of all her classmates. I said, I'm going to be a lawyer and I'm going to Harvard Law School. And I was expecting the same, you know, applause and support that everybody else got. And there was this absolute silence in that room. Everybody staring at me. And then it was ha ha ha. Chris Martinez thinks she can go to Harvard. And the entire class erupted into laughter. I was like heartbroken because that was like my friends laughing at me. She would have the last laugh and become the first Latina from Colorado admitted to Harvard School of Law. And then I went off to college and I met my husband the first week of college. And we came back at uh, Thanksgiving and said, we're getting married in January. Ron was her rock, her everything, in law school and in life. Having had a beautiful marriage, um, my husband Ron passed away in December. But we had 45 wonderful years together and we raised a wonderful family. I have four kids. One is my birth child, we are adopted, and they're all fabulous. And to me, that's the greatest success I've had in my personal life. In my professional life, I just, I've, I've had many different careers in law, and I love what I do. Arguello's success can be traced to many firsts for a Colorado Latina. First Latina to be elected to the Board of Education for Colorado Springs District 11. A promotion to partner of one of the big four firms in Colorado. A University of Kansas School of Law professor. Chief Deputy Attorney General for Colorado. And most recently in 2008, she became the first Latino United States District Court judge for the District of Colorado. I hope that this will be another thing to inspire them to say, see, this little girl, Chris Martinez, came from this low-income, poor family. And if you're willing to dream big and work hard, not let anyone you know, govern your destiny. You can do it. You can go in one generation from where I came from to being on the federal court to being in the Latino Hall of Fame. I, just, I never envisioned it for myself. And she certainly has so much to be proud of, both professionally and personally. Denver 7 is a proud sponsor of the 2019 Colorado Latino Hall of Fame Gala. Our own Ann Trujillo will emcee this year's event. It's Thursday, October 24th, and you can find more information at latinasleap.org.